Harold, I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Oh, hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can you settle it now? Uh, no. But wait, I I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You surely recall that since last week, the Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the social district is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. Wait, but only last month it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now let's get you over to the fine secretary so we can all get on with our day. fell foul of the end user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. I guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. A light held aloft by the hands of all water corporations which illuminated the many innovations we now rely upon. In 12,780 So, what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for Allwater? What? No, I meant... because it was a joke, doofus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Could you let me wait in peace now? Oh, sure. we Will do. Have fun. Felix? Hi, Ma! Uh, look, before you say anything... Whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Van der Vaart. Have a pleasant day. You too, Master Van der Vaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! We reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important... <laughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Dear people, crew, and company, we seem to have discovered something super cool. Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to... for some important information. Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. And we hope the recent local waters Mr. Halibut, you'll need this before you go. A ticket home? Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube... So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube... I can't wait. Every time I need you, Harold, it's something else. I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this... I know, I know. This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. You never snapped out of that daydream. I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. Eesh. I'm sorry, Professor.
Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Why isn't the line active? What needs improving? The man has a right to know. I don't know the exact decision making process that led to this, sir. But I assure you, it will be for the good. This location is not accessible via your destination decided. Enjoy the view. But Harold, I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. Hang on, what? A butterfly is an insect from Earth. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. I suppose you could say they often appeared in uh, extra natural moments in life. On the other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty. Harold! I know I drift off a bit sometimes. All water raised the tube fares. This time it really wasn't. Plus, there was this Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy. Oh, yeah. Have you checked the blockage in the filters? And did you need to feed the fish? Ah, uh, yes. I'm on the case. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting? Oh, uh... You seem to have weight. It really is a wonder you get anything done. Ah, thanks, Professor. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your... And I don't want to have to remind... Oh, thank. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection. Okay. Um... The upper right of the pad! Ah, uh, yeah. Top of the four buttons, right? Cool. Then I use the navigation nub to highlight... And then hit the bottom button. Precisely. Okay, great. And it's the rightmost button to- Indeed. Now hop to it. And I'll see you at the Agora Arcade. a whistle again. Hey, Sai. Oh, hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? Uh, Just doing my usual rounds. Trying to clean the fit. Super nice. How? They're swimming away. But there's no food left in the Ah, lovely. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a, what, the slow release phosphates and nitrogen? But we don't want to hurt fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow. Sai, Sai, that sounds very interesting. Hmm? Oh! <sighs> Must have just thought about. You make the fish food? Oh, I do, and I'm working on a new recipe. But I mean... It's not just about... T 
You want their gills to function up and their pigments to express as vividly as possible. Sigh, sigh. <laughs> New fish food. Well, I'll get right on it. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, well, you should try some too. Uh, I'll let you know what they... Oh. Did you... Was that fish? Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, even if it wasn't, there may... Yeah. Mm, I kind of look forward to seeing what's... Me too. Do you remember their first messages? Ha, uh, yeah. Wasn't it something about... Yes, on all those little fly... What did that fish message... Hmm, I guess something about... Explo Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they... Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy too? Perfect timing. Oh, Senor Tenenbaum, you too. I was just hoping to watch some stuff. Got any idea how? Yeah, I think it's one of Ah, should still be good for watching the announce. You're really gonna watch? They'll just announce another two. Well, Diego from Health Services said he heard. You're also drinking in what is Son's? Yes, Son. Best and only Turkish. I thought season 18 was bad. It's worth powering through to... I'll try to check it out. Drink it all in with us at Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. Little fishing? Okay, hair scan. Enjoyment deep. energy levels. Next destination. Why isn't I suppose the ticket react? Hello again. Hey, Chris. Ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Oh, be my guest. Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. We chose the stars, not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess, but our ancestors did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Uh, left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. And then we made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation, over all others, helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenner Castlechop. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenner Castlechop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora, just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together, before we unveil the next step of that journey.
It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlippmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness, and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. And of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere. Hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could that they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space, radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. And, wait for it, yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right, the boy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. That was some announcement, huh? Sure. Makes for some nice gossip. But I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? For this fancy boy drama, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo! We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Que claro! At least I brought some homework to Mark. Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch? <laughs> yep. We've gotten to know each other well. Okay. I'm gonna get some sleep. Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Harold. I guarantee you'll feel an ocean of difference. Good evening, Fedorans. The all-water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Please attend to the necessary travel arrangements. Get home safe. Oh boy, what a day. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. All this running back and forth for people is tiring, man. But...
Morning, Harold. Hello, Professor. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. Yes, it did go on a bit. The boy seems cool, though. Indeed. I'm sure it'll make a great source of distraction. Now, if you're quite ready... Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. You remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? Oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Just remind me exactly how the... Harold, are you fooling? This will be the last time I explain it to you. You need to open the hatch fur. You... Now, activate the switch next to the bore to open the sample shelf. Harold! Not that door! Over here! The rock you want is in the container on the lower right. If you remember your left and right, bring it to the microscope and insert it into the hatch. Et voila! Check the microscope and finally you'll see what I... The one you're looking at now seems to have picked up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been... I can only see one mark? That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40... So we need an older one. Exactly. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yeah. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap between... Flares cause the solar winds. A gap between so I need you to look into this. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured. Yes? But if we're not going to be able to catch one, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out, and then sells them at an outrageous markup. Good evening, Jean. Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. So... Dare I ask, what is it? Um, what needs doing again? Harold, use the PDA! Anything else on your mind? Um... Harold! Anything else? Oh, no. Be good, Harold. Cyrus, could you give him a message for me? Sure thing, Professor. Just ask him, how are the details coming along? Okay. I will ask him, but, um... Yes, yes, I know. I could ask him myself, uh, but didn't you stop to wonder why I don't want to? I just did stop to wonder. It's complicated, okay? We go back a long way and don't always see eye to eye especially on matters of categorization, nomenclature, and subsequent archiving methodology. Not that he ever saw fit to delineate his preferred... Uh, don't mind me, Harold. I just mean Cyrus has his stubborn phases, and I just can't talk to him when he's in one. Okay, say no more. Your message is safe with me. Actually, Harold... No, 
It's okay. Nothing. Run along now. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Utterly Thank unconcerned you for your own safety, no respect for authority, wanton disregard today. for the future of humanity. Harold! Good timing, you can explain. Harold? And yourself? Major, I'm just passing through. I really don't know what this is. Hi, Felix. So you're not here to make excuses for this diminutive delinquent? Hey, I'm not diminutive. I've just got longer to live than you. And Harold, tell him about our- Harold! I should have known you'd be wrapped up in this. I'm not in trouble. There is no plan. Are you questioning my authority and or organizational me- What? No, mate. If I find out you're a bad influence on- Not me, Major. Whatever Felix did, I'm- And how would you know about that? Unless you're in league with- I just meant- I mean, if you just- Relax! Harold, you're really- uh, But- but- Utterly unconcerned for his own safety, no respect for- Anyway, Major, under whose jurisdiction is Harold in- Mine! I'm Felix. Will you be a witness? Absolute. And can you testify to Harold's involvement? Only if he's willing to testify to mine. Harold, tell the truth now. It'll be easier in the long run. I haven't witnessed anything to testify. Damn it. Then the case is in danger of falling apart. I'm sure Felix's parents will... Good point. They should really be present. I'm only a... Don't you throw the book at me, son. Where are they anyway? I don't know. And good luck finding them. Oh no, Felix, have you lost them? Harold, leave this to the professionals. Felix, do you mean to tell me you've neglected to file a missing person or persons report? Shouldn't we look for them? Don't change the subject. But Major, what is the subject? That's right, Harold. If, and I mean if, you're acting as some kind of heroic big brother figure to this year, I expect you to be a positive. I, we, come on, spit it out. Just leave me alone, Sandstrom. Okay, Harold, but your fist won't save you if I catch you red hand. Now, Felix, where is... Oh, no. Harold, you've lost him. Hello, Mr. Sec... Oh, my... You must be thinking of my brother, Secretary A. Oh, sorry. I always... There are just three. Well, now, uh, three of us were. Oh, so there's... Hmm, yes, Secretary Eight is the man to ask about that. He remembers it all much better. Remembers? Okay, sounds serious. Anyway, I'm the... Welcome to the... Would you like to partake in the monthly all water? Oh, sure. Wait. Certainly. The raffle is a generous gesture of frivolity. What are the prizes? Well, there's a long list of luxuries. A plethora. The full list can be perused at your leisure on the All Water. Okay. I'll just spin her up. Drum. Looks like you were unlucky this time, but.
Oh, oh not. Hey! Not too shabby. How about? I'm super. Oh, cool. It was just discovered. Nobody on us apart from. Wow. Stick around and. Oh, nice. All of it. It's gonna be a wild ride, so buckle up. Wow, okay. Good luck. Hey, buddy. Hey, Harold. Great to see you. How about that announcement, eh? Yeah, it was really something. It sure was. I try not to busy myself with those kinds of affairs. I'm just happy you're joining in for the station jog. The jog? Uh, I was only... Chris promised me he'd be here any minute. Now we've really got a jog team on our hands. I think I'll pass. No one's forcing you, Harold. But why don't you keep me company until Chris arrives? Okay, that I can do. How's the post today? Ah, oh, it's a bit slow, what with the tube to the utility district being out, so I can't really work. Not working makes me so restless. I hope it's back soon. Good thing you have the arcades to jog around. Yep, and Chris can't get to the school for the same reason. So at least we'll have plenty of time to work out together. That young man is almost as fit as me. Why do I feel like I'm the odd one out? Oh, hey, Chris. Last to arrive, first to finish. That's my motto. Harold, won't you stay? Yeah, venga. Jog team. Uh, okay. <laughs> Come on, Harold. Keep up. Guys. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I thought I was fit. <sighs> Without me. <sighs> Fine. How'd you both keep so fit? Oh, you know me, Harold. I've been running around this station for... Gotta keep up my... Healthy body, healthy mind. Gotta set a good example for those lazy students of mine, too. <laughs> Have you got any tips? Just keep on moving, Harold. You never know what... You're cool, so be cool all of the time with my patented Consta Cool fabrics. So you see, that's the slippy difference. And if you just watch this exciting infomercial, ah, uh, Harold, if it isn't my favorite multi-maintenance man. Wait, are you sure I can't interest you in... Oh, never mind. Hello, how's business? You're an everyman, right? I've made a new ad and I need your opinion. I mean, I think it's great, but maybe it's too high concept. Oh, well, I'm not really qualified to... Nonsense! Just watch! I was trying to read a book in the comfort of my own home, but my own home wasn't comfortable. It was too hot to concentrate. Will I ever be able to read to my children? or enjoy the adventures of the Fedora 4 from my armchair again. Why, yes, of course you will. With my patented, tried and tested aircon system, you'll always be able to keep your brain, books, and body sweat free and as cool as Jimson Jameson himself. Please note, Slippy's aircon system is not officially endorsed by the creators of the Fedora 4 or their likenesses. Burr. Sometimes I just can't get cozy. How's a man supposed to look after his family with cold arms? My family are depending on me. What am I going to do? Clad yourself in one of our triple insulating cozy jackets and matching thermal underwear, of course. You know what they say, warm hands, warm heart. 
Slippies means heritage. I'm the latest in a long tradition of winter sports enthusiasts. Slipmires throughout history have kept everyone from royalty to the common man warm and cozy in their pursuits of the great outdoors. Slippies means social responsibility. The Schlippmeyers were one of the most generous sponsors of the Fedora One project, giving back to the people, sharing their knowledge of insulation technologies and considerable wealth to keep humanity warm and cozy among the stars. Remember, you deserve to live and work at whatever temperature is right for you. With over 200 years of expertise, you can bet the weather forecast shows slippies across the board. Come in out of the cold and into slippies. Slippies, heat protection so good, it'll be a cold day in hell. Well, what did you think? Um, it was, there were lots of things and... Uh, Great, so glad you agree. And while you're here... I was just going... Ah, oh, come on, you can't go without testing my new half-pipe experience. It's new and improved by a little modification to my patented air... Is that... do I have to... I'm glad you asked. It combines precise atmospheric condition to recreate the most lifelike experience of... That sounds... uh, wait. Me? But I don't... Nonsense! I'm sure you're a natural! Now let's get you strapped in! the hardest. I guess I'm slippy by name, but you I guess I'd really better. Sure, sure, but just so you know, if you're interested, for every customer you got a dash. Okay, Harold. Hey there. The name is Eve. Oh. Can I help you, Mr. No, just came to visit. What you're playing? Oh, some game. I'd rather be reading, but... What do you like to read? Anything, really. At the moment, hegemony and the pan-liberalism agenda of agnostics... That's... Yes. Say, did you know... No. I always wondered what those initials at the... T yeah. Oh, hey, Roth. Hmm, Harold. Is everything okay? The tube route to the school in the social district is out. Oh, right. Annoying. That's not what's... Oh? Kids. Everywhere. All the time. No school means no peace. They're just hanging around. Taking space. Playing all the arcades. Oh, dear. But... Oh... Good luck. Hey, the Eve. Do you know Rafi well? Not really. We have a mutual toleration. That sound. Do they have? No. That's a. Pr you gotta respect their back.
Tim, what do you think about the announcement then? I think it sounds ex Hey, Tommy. I don't suppose you'll be back in the shop soon? Oh. Or, I mean, I can come back later? Oh, no. What do you need? It's just that the professor... I mean, filter rocks from older times? That have come from the filters, and I feel like you might have one? Shh, quiet! Don't be mentioning Filter Frankie! You know that every piece of my inventory is legally obtained, or, or legally found, right? Right, sure. That's why I'm here. To legally acquire an item of yours that you may have. Okay, look and listen here, Longy Long Pants. I shut the store for a reason, you know? Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... You sure you don't want me to... It's fine, I'm just feeling... I've got this gut feeling that my beautiful... Oh. No, I know I'm over... Tommy, you gotta stop! Look, kid, either way... Ah. Oh. Yeah, you just caught me on a blue note. She's been spending so much time with... You know, the guy in the silk robe and the flowing... Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. The disinfectant. Oh, there's Bridget. And Chris? What are they doing in there? I can't hear them, but... Hmm, seems like Bridget is... It looks like she... It's unacceptable. No matter... Oh, Chris is replying. Just let... Anyway... We... Hmm. Now I wish I'd never skipped those lip reading... Cl Hello, Sai. How- Oh, it's been tough, Harold. Every- Oh, uh, it's good you- Yeah? What do you need? Well, I'm having a bit of difficulty with a 3D printer. It's leaving gaps everywhere. Oh, okay. Yes, please. But I hope you're better with technology than you are with the ladies. Um, I hope so, too. Anyway, see if you and your screwdriver can get this printer its third dimension. You have to undo the screws first to remove the front panel.
<laughs> oh. Uh. Ow. Sight. Was the printer? If it's any consolation. I Ow. Well, where was I'm not sure. I hmm. But I. Ow. Think of it as a. Oh. Moreau asked me to ask you. Oh. Just. Huh. Is it? Um, anyway. Uh, Harold, uh, one more thing. What is it? Could you take Maro a... I suppose. Is it just... No, 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 nothing like that. It's something definitely... Odd. So, what's... Oh, okay. Just tell her procedure smeecher and that she puts the Y... I don't... I mean... She... Back in the days, we were both part of... She was always so darn... She called it... A healthy distrust, for, but all it did was... So... Precisely. But it was fun. I mean, we respected each other's... And I guess not... So, what did you... That's not important. Come on, man. Sometimes you don't need to... Re okay. <sighs> She'll know what I'm... Okay. nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. Hey Zoom, what do you know about Filter Frankie? I'm... I'm sorry to bother you again. Not news. I know, but... it's... What? It looked totally professional. I didn't just... see... Gah, uh, what? There's no way he... If I still had my own hand... Tommy, I'm sure it's not... You don't understand, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna take this... Tommy, a do... And you're in on this with me now, You did the right thing bringing this... I'm really sure it's not... I've just been so busy working on this, you know, see me, but maybe this whole time I should have been sure. I'll bet you. You're absolutely right. Tonight, make it into a great big sparkly neon pro. A so I mean, I'm. Don't doubt it, Harold. Will you help me? Uh. Knew I could count on you. I'm gonna go freshen up a little. Might even put on a different outfit now that I think of it. Will you go and look for Bridget for me? My dear Bridget, I'm sorry we haven't been able to spend much time together recently. So I get how you might be attracted to the man-machine with the flowing looks of an angel that you call your friend. But I do beg you to give me another chance. Please, Bridget, will you let me back into your heart and take this monument to our love as a sign of my great affection? Tommy, of course I love you, and I would never betray you. I just wanted to give you some space. I saw you working so hard on your new sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Couldn't tell me what? Oh, what the heck. The ship's facing some issues with the energy budget. I knew you would need a lot of light for your sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. No way we've got an energy problem here. That was it? No helping Tinner Bomb with his spray tan? That was it. No spray tan. I'm so sorry, Buttercupsy. I love you. I love you.
Thank you for your help, Harold. I was hoping you'd accept this stone as a thank you. Ah! Oh, no. Moreau won't be happy to hear about this. Ah, oh, Harold. Listen, you know I would Ah, uh, it's okay, Tommy. I just feel bad, you... Thanks, Tom. I'm just glad you and Brit... Thanks, Harold. I'll keep my... Thanks, Tommy. Onot? Harold? Come on, give me a clue about the plot. No way, I'm... Let's just... Set across the... And the then present... Wow. What's it called? Nab I'll be Thanks, Harold. Buddy, you got a sec? Always. So you've been the postman for ages. The main thing that's Say what you will about all by heart. Ah one time I had to deliver a everything that First, I, I had to go through some... Then I got back up. I stopped to get some food along the way. And you know, red-faced... I post... When I woke up... Her? Um, yeah. Bye, buddy. See you, Harold. Bridget? Harold. Uh, you know. Yep. Energy. You heard that? Ugh. And you... But I want to be extra careful. Is the state... Well, yeah. And the damn tubes... Right. You know, I'm not sure I've ever understood ex... Gosh, why are you... It's not exactly a... Look, if you really want to know, swing by... I'd better... See you, Harold. So, Slippy. I search the slip that our name was... What did he do? He invented... He had nothing but the... So he decided... He spent... And convinced... Then used his... The entry... The inaugural... Wow. What? That's not important. Oh. Zoodle, please to make your So, it's he says there's something he wants to show you and Oh. I mean, and I don't know. Go My work here is done. Thanks. All water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Hello there, little miss. You? And no. Oh, it... No, what's you? It's Harold. Is Harold? Well... Can you just... I'll yell straight... Okay. Water compliments you on your choice of destination. All 
more water. We get you where you're going. Ah, hello. Oh, hey, Captain Atlock. Call me Zoya. What can I do? Just doing my round. Do you need me? We really pulled it off. Oh. Uh, 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 wasn't it epic? Uh, yeah. Ah, yes. That was a nice touch, wasn't it? That I can leave. Destiny? Yes. Oh, speaking of which, I must get... I've got an important new announcement. Thanks for... Welcome. I am all water autumn. There were the dark times. And slowly but surely. Bye. The all water corporate. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? What good is asking? Could they just... I wonder if this is the Light Keepers. Will they ever... Re Professor, you're not going to believe. Why does that? The blue rock. You found. It was stolen. This is utterly vexed. I know. Oh, and I. Out with. He says. Hi. Yeah. 
He's a slut. What's a mu- Oh, don't stop. I've got to think of a comeback. What should- We? Madam CEO, you're going to want to hear this. I'm listening. It's the new boy, ma'am. It's picked up a signal that we have reason to believe originates from Earth. Earth? Have you reverse dated? We have. It was sent- So 120. Things would have been pretty wrong. Let's hear what was- Maybe it was, uh- Okay. Well, just- But ma'am- And one of those. Okay. This is- After the fedora. Boy, he was sure. Whoever is still out there. Constant! What? Professor, did you hear that? It was hard. It's the first message from Earth. Certainly in my lifetime. I wonder what kind of message would a dying... What do you think? It means that the... They're thinking about how to turn it to their... What if it's not the... Don't be paranoid. What reason or authority? Still, even if they... Gosh, that, maybe they've got... Hmm. If we... Yes? Oh, it's you. Yes? No. In due... Fine. What? Okay. Harold, I... Huh? Who was... Why? It was the CE... What for? Indeed, Harold. Well, unfortunately for my bath, she was adamant we went there immediately. She even unlocked... A but why? Well, come on, let's not... Crisis control. We need to get out there ahead of the turn in public sentiment. First move advantage and get this working for us, not against us. Yes. Come in, come in, come in. Now, as you both know, time is of the essence. Sorry. Where are my manners? Would either of you like something to drink? Ah, I suppose I might like a coffee. There's really no time for coffee. Time is of the essence. Professor, would you like to sit? No, thank you. I prefer to stand. Oh, a woman of action. I love that. Anyway, we must act. Due to the unfortunate communique incident, we've been forced to move up the schedule. It's imperative we deliver some good news about the start procedure. Hmm. I suppose that wouldn't hurt. To that effect, Professor. And, um, you there. I'll need you to supervise Cyrus directly. We can't afford for any unforeseen delays. Cyrus, he works best undisturbed. The man is a stubborn buffoon, but there's no doubting his thoroughness. Professor, please. It would do this old heart good to know that you were keeping a watchful eye on him. Or maybe your, um, protégé here could do it. I'll hang out with, I mean, watch Sai, sure. If it makes you happy, Madame CEO, we'll make sure Cyrus delivers. Great. Music to my ears. Thank you both. You've done all water and the ship a great service. We're ready. Go live and stay on schedule. It's my privilege to announce to you all today that our new boy program has already proven an unmitigated success. We present to you now the full and unedited audio that represents the first incoming message we've received in our lifetimes. Now, before the message plays, I'd like to take a moment to reiterate just how proud we should all be of progress on the new start procedures. It won't be long before we're ready for the first attempt, the latest in a long line of steps on the road to a greater, brighter future for us all. Please enjoy this message, brought to you by the All Water Corporation. This is, uh, after the fedora. Well, we sure hope you're all okay, whomever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Things were pretty rocky. Yeah, when you left, of course, and, you know, that was a brave move. Probably the right decision at the time. We didn't know whether to even tell you this, but we figured maybe it would give you some comfort way out there in the freezing clutches of deep space. 
What are you all still doing here? Don't you have work or something to do? Scram! Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Hey, Professor. Oh, are those the... Come and see. Oh. Harold, just look. So, if the Light Keepers could get the rock, and they knew... That means that... Harold, it... And we've had enough excitement. Let's leave the theories until... Sure. I'm just happy that whoever they are, they're all... So it's... Good night, Harold. Okay. Whoever made that leak must be feeling pretty terrible. I'm glad it wasn't. Let's see what... <laughs> 